Hello and welcome to the Excel Cave. Today we're going to talk about combining the nested if formula with the sum if formula uh, for situations where, for example, we might want to sum uh, based on some values and ranges where based on what tab in your workbook they're located on. Um, so, for example, we have a summary tab here. We'd like to to be able to select a different quarter and each of these quarters are on a different tab of our workbook. So we just like to have a drop down that sums each region their quarterly sales revenue uh, just based on this drop down list. So we'll get started here. So we're going to start out with the IF formula. Our logical test is going to be based on this value here in this cell. So we always want this to drive everything uh, which will determine what tab we need to pull it from. Um, so your, your logical test is always going to be pointing to this cell and because of that we want to lock it down because when we drag the formula down for these four cells here we want it to stay fixed. So if this cell C3 equals first quarter. That is our logical test for one of four logical tests. Um, like I said, this is the nested if. So if it is first quarter, we want to do a sum if formula. Our value of true, we want it to sum if the first quarter tab based on the region criteria Lock that down, and our criteria is going to be back on the summary tab, just the region. And we're going to leave that relative because we want the formula, to, when we finish inputting it, we want to drag it down and to move relative with these other cells here. So we're going to leave that relative. And finally, our sum range is also going to be the first quarter tab, the sales revenue. So we're still in our sum if formula right now, as you can see. Um, you want to make sure you close that out with a closing parentheses, and it'll switch us back to our if formula. You can see the message box change there back to the if. We just uh, we're still in the value of true, so we get into the value with if false when we put the, the comma there and. We'll start with a new if statement and repeat this process again. So we're going to go back to the summary tab. And again, just the same steps over and over. Um, if C3, lock it down, equals second quarter. Then we want to sum if the value of true, we want it to sum if based on the second quarter tab. And just the same steps over again. Make sure you lock C3 down each time. So our value of true is going to be the sum of the third quarter tab, sum it. Remember, close your sum if to get back into the if. Now, you could, we only have the fourth quarter left. You could put that as your false statement, but I personally, in situations like this where the formula is getting big, like to reserve the false for just putting some sort of error message. That way it can tell you um, if something 
went wrong with the inputs. So I would prefer to just do another if statement. So we're going to do it just like we have been doing it. Now we're finally to, you can see our message box here is our value of false. Now I would just like to say maybe put a message box here like research or error or something like that. Just anything, any kind of message you would like to put there that maybe tells you, well, something's not quite right. We did something wrong. Um, finally, um, we need to put our closing parentheses. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, you have to put the same amount of closing parentheses as you do opening parentheses. So uh, kind of a pain to count. The good thing is that Excel guides you. Um, you can see that this is shaded in a different color. Um, you can just keep putting the closing parentheses until you see a black one, and that will tell you you have enough to match your number of opening parentheses. So we just keep doing this until we see it, and then there's the black one, so that should be good. Okay, we'll drag this down. We can test this out and make sure every quarter has. pulling in a value and it looks like they are and then we can just check it out um, your first quarter sales is 220 729 220 729 on the tab second quarter is 199 and 53 that matches third quarter 431 182 that that matches the fourth third quarter tab sorry uh, Fourth quarter is 525, 640, and that matches the fourth quarter tab. So that's just how you can combine the nested if formula along with the sum if formula to sum from a drop down box uh, to pull from different tabs of your workbook. Thanks for watching, guys.